Hi guys, welcome back to the Studentship YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the processes on how you can defer your admission without any issue as a student in university. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. There are many reasons why students defer their admission because for you to be able to defer your admission in university, you must have a good reason. You don't just wake up in the morning and say you want to defer your admission. Now, one of the common reasons why students defer their admission is financial crisis. Yeah, this is the most important reason because there are students that, you know, they get admission and there is no finance you know to take care of their school expenses so this is a very good reason you know to defy your admission because probably you still lack academic uh, sponsor like somebody to sponsor your academy now another reason could be head challenge maybe you are having head challenges then you can also defy your admission or maybe as a lady you are pregnant you are married you are pregnant and you don't want to combine your pregnancy with school then you can also defy your admission so these are just some of the reasons why you can defy admission. Now, going to the requirements, there are certain requirements you must meet to be able to successfully defy your admission as a student. Now, the process for deferment in university and polytechnic, they are all the same. So if you are a polytechnic student, this is you know, also relevant for you. Of course, for you to defy admission, you must have the relevant documents like your JAM results, your O-level results, your local government of origin, and every other document used for your academic clearance. Deferment of admission is not only for first year students. Whether you're in final year, you're in third year, you're in second year, you can also defy your admission and the process are all the same. Now, one very important information you must know as a student that want to go through this process is that you must settle your academic expenses for that session you want to defy your admission. So let's say, for example, I'm a student of accountancy in second year and I want to defy my admission. I will have to pay for my tuition fee, pay for my school fees and every dues for that second year before you defy admission so you can't defy admission without settling those academic expenses it is very necessary because most students they feel there is no expenses involved in this process no money is involved in this process because you have to pay your school fees of course and other financial obligations as a student the first step would be for you to actually meet with your course advisor your course advisor is there to advise you. So meet the course advisor for your class, inform the lecturer that you want to defy your admission. Yes, of course, he's going to ask you what's your reason because you want to know why you want to defy your admission. Tell him the reason, maybe financial challenge or health issue, you know, just tell him why you want to defy your admission. Then it's going to take you to your HOD, yes, because the process starts in your HOD's office. So you also inform your HOD and there you'll be told to write a letter. I'm going to leave a sample of the letter at the end of this video or if you check the description of this video you are going to see a link you know to get that uh, letter for deferment of admission so after meeting your issue you write this letter you are going to submit this letter to your department and at the registrar's office yes you must submit this uh, letter to the registrar's office because without submitting to your registrar's office it will not be valid start submitting this letter you have to wait for approval from the registrar after getting an approval you'll be notified by your department now when you are notified by your department it means that you successfully deferred your admission you might ask how many years can i defer my admission well there are no limitations because every university you see students you know from 10 years ago coming back to complete their academic uh, work so you can defer your admission for as long as uh, possible but make sure you inform your school and everything is approved. The question is, where are you going to continue after your deferment? You are going to continue from where you stop. So if you defer your admission uh, first semester, second year, you are going to start uh, first semester, second year. If you defer in second semester, you are going to start from second semester. So it's just basically you no know, starting from where you left your academic activity. So the whole conclusion about this process is just you writing an official letter, sending that letter to the registrar and to the HOD for a approval after approval then you can successfully defy your admission now i hope i've been able to answer your questions but if there are any other question you want to ask or you need further clarification do let me know in the comments and i will definitely answer your question make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel 